Bumali Lai. So what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you a few tips on how to get to 1k subscribers sooner than later. So if you've been following my channel, you would have realized that I went from about 750 subscribers to 1,151 subscribers in a month, guys. In a month. Literally one month, guys. And it took hardly any work compared to what I used to do when I wasn't hitting any milestones compared to what I do now it is totally different like there are so many things that I I wish I'd done back then which I do now here's how to do it guys and trust me you'll be surprised how easy this is first thing you need to do have a drop off your boost drink drink it it helps you grow subscribers I'm not sponsored. When my channel was in the hundreds and my subscriber count was in the hundreds, guys, there's one thing I did not do. So my channel was created in 2014, I'm pretty sure it's 2014, and I started uploading Minecraft videos every single day. Like, I was grinding Minecraft every single day. Personally, I would have got someone with that. Like, if I actually put a lot of more effort into them videos, I would have probably got somewhere with my Minecraft videos. The Minecraft videos, they were going, they were they were building, they were building, they were going and going. But there was a few things that I wasn't doing which wasn't getting me the subscribers that I needed, guys. I was uploading anything, guys. Like, I wanted to get to 1,000 subscribers and I wanted to get my channel growing, guys. And I was uploading anything I possibly could. I was doing a lot of things wrong and that is why I see people doing a lot of things wrong on YouTube as well. Like, I look at some channels and I'm like, you deserve a lot more subscribers than you've got, but you're missing a few things. You're not doing these few things that aren't getting your channel out there. And I'm going to go over them few things in a moment, guys, but I just want to give you the story of my channel at the moment. So if you don't want to hear it, guys, just fast forward it. It's no problem. I was doing all these different videos, guys, in the matter of like four years, three years, two years, however long it took, from like four, for two to four years, I was stuck at 700, 600 subscribers. I was not getting past them subscribers. Like, there was nothing else I could possibly think of doing to get myself past them subscribers. Fast forward it a bit, I got to about 700 subscribers thanks to uploading then urban exploring videos that come along. And I was uploading that, guys. They were taking off and, you know, I was getting a lot more subscribers. I was getting a fan base off my urban exploring videos. And I was just getting getting someone with them guys but unfortunately like I can't go anywhere I don't drive guys like I do not drive so I can't go anywhere at the moment to urban explore unless I have people with me and obviously that becomes a problem so I wanted to try and find someone else to replace the urban exploring just for that little bit. The clock struck 12 o'clock on the 31st of December 2019 guys. I was at 790 subscribers, something like that guys. And then 2020 came. 2020 came guys, my goal for 2020 was to hit 1k subscribers by March. Okay, March. I was giving myself three months to hit 1k from 750. Now it's realistic, it's easy. You know, anyone can possibly get that many subscribers in the matter of that amount of time. But the things that I wasn't doing back in 2019 to compare to what I was doing in 2020 guys that is where my channel really blew up so I'm gonna go over these few things now guys so the first thing that I decided to start doing to use a tag program so it's called rapid tags guys link will be in the description go ahead and use it because I was coming up with a title guys and I, I was typing in some tags and you know when I was uploading before I wasn't really seeing anything of the tags like I was not seeing any activity of the tags the tags meant nothing back then guys like I was uploading tags that were pretty pointless so my tags weren't getting anywhere now tags are the main thing you need for your videos you've got to make sure you have the tags in guys that is how people find the videos so quick and so easily and instantly guys I seen a difference in my videos my views and another thing that I started doing at the beginning of 2020 guys was sharing my videos so when I was uploading videos 2019 and before I would not share my videos my YouTube was for me, my YouTube was for people to go into YouTube and find it. I didn't want to place it on social media. I didn't want people who were on my social media to see my videos and that was more of my fault. I was self-conscious, I didn't want, I just didn't want to push it on social media. And then one day I decided, one of my urban exploring videos, I thought, okay, I'm going to share this video on social media. I'm going to just see what happens. If I get hate, I get hate. If not, I'm, if not, if not, guys. So I went ahead, copied my link, pasted my link, shared it on my social media, guys. And instantly, I literally instantly, I seen 
a difference. I've seen how right the quality is going to go different now because my phone just died. So yeah, guys, instantly I seen a difference in my views, guys. I seen that a lot more people were seeing these videos, a lot more people sharing them. I have people on social media sharing them to other people. I was sharing them on all social media platforms: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, is it Reddit? Is it is that what's called Reddit? I was sharing it on my Urban Explorer forums that I'm on. I was sharing them everywhere, guys, and I could see the view counts going up, guys. The subscribers going up, and before I knew it, I literally went to bed one day, woke up, and I had 1,000 subscribers, and pow, pow, wow. If I started doing these things back then, I wouldn't, I would have been here right now making this video. I would have been here like two years ago making this video, guys. I shared the hell out of my videos. I made sure that my videos would get every single every single view I possibly could get. I was telling people to go ahead and share it. I was I was clickbaiting. That is another thing that you have to do, guys. People hate clickbaiters, right? Because they do not clickbait for their videos. If you clickbait something in your title or in your thumbnail that isn't actually in the video. So for example, this video, how to hit 1,000 subscribers in one month, guys. I'm actually telling you how you can possibly hit 1,000 subscribers in one month. Other people would do this video and say how to hit how to hit 1k subscribers in two minutes. Like that's clickbait. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a possible way to click to get 2,000 subscribers in two minutes, guys. Like I really don't think there is. So like that is clickbait. I'm using realistic clickbait. People like realistic clickbait. People do not like fake clickbait. Use realistic clickbait. Honestly, it works. So the next thing that I started doing guys, which again, I really wish I'd done back then to what I do now, is that I actually look at the trends on YouTube. So I was uploading Minecraft videos, like I thought, okay, this is gonna be a trend, there's gonna be kids watching Minecraft videos, but the amount of big Minecraft vid Minecraft YouTubes out there, I wasn't standing a chance. Now you have to go with the trends of YouTube. So I started uploading recently, you guys have probably seen these videos, and they're reaction videos, that I like making them. I've noticed that a lot of you guys are enjoying watching my reaction videos. I see a few of you guys come back, to back and watch another one after another Another one guys you recommend stuff to me so like I see the trend on YouTube and the last couple of reaction videos I've done haven't got that many views but they're still up there with my view count they're still getting me view count they're still getting me subscribers there's still still people watching them if I go back and look at my Minecraft videos from two years ago like it's still stuck at 10 views there's no point the, the video is pointless so you need to make sure you're doing stuff that people are watching guys there's no point making content that no one is watching guys you need to make videos that people are going to click on and people are going to watch otherwise it's literally you're just gonna go in a vicious circle and you're gonna end up two years down the line with literally 100 odd subscribers and hardly no view count because no one are watching the videos another quick tip guys as well and you need to use this one with your head do not spam but go on to other people's videos and if you've made a similar kind of video so for example I made a reaction video the other week where I reacted to Eminem's video if I went on to other people's videos and they done the exact same thing as me I wouldn't go on there and be like everyone go and click my video because I've done the exact same thing no no, no one's gonna click your videos no one's gonna click on your videos and see that stuff if you go on other people's video and goes out oh, sub for sub no one is going to click your channel no one is going to come and watch your channel everyone hates when people type on each other's videos sub for sub it's one of the most annoyingest things ever you need to make sure you're going on other people's videos and if you do want to say something on their link in your channel then say it politely say it in a nice inviting way something along the lines of hey guys so I'm trying to build up my channel and I've also done a reaction to Eminem would any of you like would any of you guys like to come along and have a look totally up to you just be polite just be nice straightforward and polite guys but honestly guys if you use these tips and you share your videos you make realistic clickbait you use tags in your channel guys make sure you're using tags that is a big make sure because the amount of people I see is like oh my videos ain't getting anywhere how do I get my videos somewhere and I'm like do you use tags and they're like what are tags make sure you using the tags guys tags are the main thing to use make sure you're using them please also make sure you're sharing them 
friends and family, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any way you have guys, hashtag YouTube, hashtag 1k goals, that's what I done guys and I'm now at 1k, so like there's so many ways that I wish I'd done back then that what I do now guys and it's so simple and so easy out in front of you, it just takes that extra effort to share your videos guys and do the tags, do a little bit more clickbait, do a little bit more research on the video that you're going to make and you'll get somewhere. These are the things that helped me get to 1k in a month guys, it's now February the 9th and I have literally just hit 1150. I do hope you enjoy guys and I do hope this video helps any of you guys on your journey to 1k subscribers. Enjoy the journey guys, it's fun. Don't let it be stressful, that is one thing that I will say guys, do not let YouTube be stressful too. If you're going into YouTube guys, do not jump straight in it for money because you're not gonna, you're not gonna see money instantly, it, it takes time, you gotta get 1,000 subscribers and 40,000 watch time guys, and it takes time. I do hope you enjoy, I'll see you all in the next video. It's been your girl, more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Now the only thing is, I can't go, oh yeah I can, okay. I got to find the off button on this thing. Okay, Chris.